Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another vlog. I hope you're all doing it really well. Coming live from the hottest day of the year, I think it is. Just filmed a YouTube video this morning and I think I'm just going to try and edit it outside in the sun this afternoon. Because I just don't think these are the temperatures for filming any reels or anything today. Um, so yeah, that is the plan. I'd quickly come on and show you my outfit today before I get changed into my sunbathing outfit and then I'll show you that as well. And yeah, just take you around with me this week. Not sure quite what this week is going to entail, but we shall see. So yeah, yeah, this is the outfit that I wore for a little coffee meeting this morning. It looks absolutely awful now because I've been sat filming that YouTube video and literally dripping in sweat and it's got a little bit of makeup on it because I kept having to like touch up my makeup because it was literally dripping off. Um, but yeah, the outfit, this is the Amazon dress, really nice kind of ribbed knit material, really flattering. I think I'm wearing a size small here, which I feel like it's a lot nicer than the extra small. It's just a little bit more looser and comfier to wear in summer. Um, just paired it with my Hermes flat sandals and my YSL suede bag. Um, but yeah, about to get changed now to sit in the sun and edit my YouTube video. This is the outfit that I've just put on to go and sit in the sun and edit my YouTube video. Um, this top, really good find from Under the Story's sale. It's like a really nice quality knit bralette. I think I actually got this for £18. I think it was supposed to be something like 37 which is really good. I'll link it down below in case you still have some sizes left. And this co-ord is last year's Zara. I think I linked some similar in my last YouTube video, which was like the casual summer outfits one. Um, so yeah, definitely go and check out the description box in there to find some similar links. I've actually got on my Hunza G bikini underneath just in case it's really warm and I fancy a little bit of sunbathing. Although it has gone quite cloudy now, if you can see. Um, but yeah, that'll be fine for editing my YouTube video and then hopefully it comes back out later this afternoon and I can do a little bit of sunbathing. Um, but yeah, hope you're enjoying the sun wherever you are and I'll speak to you soon. So just to say, this is the bag I'm using today. It's a new one from Abbott Leon. It's got my initials on it, which is really cute and these lovely pearl details. It is absolutely massive, I love it. It's got so much in here. Got my laptop, a towel, a little apple. This is really good actually. Um, it's basically factor 50 for your face um, but it goes on over makeup, which is really good. Um, I've got my book with me, reading Lost Connections by Johan Hari at the moment. Really enjoying this. It's kind of split into two parts, and I've only read the first part yet, which is kind of about all the different causes of depression. And the second half is more about the solutions. So yeah, really excited to get into the second half. Hopefully have time to read that today. Got my claw clip and a bottle of water in here. So yeah, really, really good size bag. and uh, Would be perfect for holiday. I'll leave it linked down below as well. Good morning, guys. Hope you're all doing really well. Sorry. Sorry, it's been a couple of days now since I last picked up the camera, but to be honest, not much has been happening, so you haven't missed a lot. Um, basically spent all day editing my YouTube video, which finally um, went live. It's still taking me so long to edit them, so yeah, there wasn't really much to show, just me sat on my laptop. Um, but today is actually hopefully going to be a really nice day. I'm heading for lunch with my mum and my dad and my grandma for like a belated birthday lunch for my nana. Um, so yeah, really excited for that, really looking forward to it. Um, unfortunately, it seems like the nice weather has gone. It's looking a little bit cloudy, but obviously I've still gone for full summer with the outfit. Um, I'll turn the camera around and show you in a second. Um, but yeah, just trying to think if there's anything else I need to update you on. Don't think so. I went to um, a Manchester Young Professionals event last night at Tribe. That was really good, actually. It was the first time I'd ever done Tribe in Manchester. Um, it's quite similar to Barry's. We do like a round on the treadmill, a round on the floor, and a round on the assault bike. Um, so yeah, it was really intense, really good, and I actually bumped into some of my old work friends, which was nice. Um, so yeah, I think that was the only thing I have to update you on today. Haven't done any exercise today, I'm going to take a rest day because I've done Barry's, a run, and Tribe now all week. So yeah, going to have a rest day today, and yeah, enjoy a nice lunch with my family. This is the outfit for today. This top is actually a new one from Farfetch. I am obsessed with this print, I just think it's so cute for summer. Um, it's from Reformation, I um, really love that brand. It is a little bit expensive, but yeah, I do really love this top. Um, I've just paired it with my Zara linen blazer and these jeans from H&M which I shared on my Instagram last week and I'm literally obsessed with them. The best pair of jeans I've bought in ages. I just think the like fit is really nice, kind of like a straight slim leg. Um, just paired it with my Under the Stories block heels. Um, I'll try and link some similar because I do think these are now sold out. Um, my glasses are Anin Bing by a Farfetch. I just think these are so cool. They're a little bit more of like a cat eye than I wear usually. Um, but yeah, really enjoying them. And my bag, I've just paired with my black YSL. I did want to wear my little white bag. I just thought this one was a little bit more practical for an all day bag. Um, so yeah, I will take you along with me today where I can and I hope you all have a lovely day, whatever you're doing.
Don't mind Ollie in the background of these vlogs. <laughs> How you doing today, Oll? Good. <laughs> what is he watching? Working hard or hard working? Uh, the golf, obviously. You're off to the open this weekend, aren't you, Oll? Yeah. Oh, Very exciting weekend with the boys, um, but I think my best friend is coming down to Manchester on Saturday, which would be really nice, and we can have a little bit of a girly day. Morning guys, I hope you're all doing really well. It's now Saturday morning, it's about 20 past eight. I've been up since about half six doing little random jobs around the flat. I'm just really enjoying like getting up early on a Saturday morning before it feels like the world is awake and just sticking a few things off my to-do list. It makes me feel really good and sets me up for the day. I'm just about to head to Barry's now though. The classes are at 8.45 so I'm gonna to need to set off in like seven minutes or so, so I thought I'd come on and chat to you. Um, trying to think where I left you off. I think it was Thursday when I went out for lunch with my mum, my nana and my dad. That was a really nice day actually. We just went out for lunch at a place in Rear Green, which if you've been, it's kind of near Lytham, a really, really quiet little village. And um, we just went to the pub there and had some lunch and it was nice. Um, unfortunately, the weather wasn't as good as it has been. So we didn't do much like walking around, but we took my nana to a garden center and she really enjoyed herself. So that's what it's all about. And I loved spending time with them and being at home. But yeah, I came back yesterday, which was Friday. Just had one of those really big kind of admin days. Got loads of stuff done that's been on my to-do list for ages. It wasn't a very exciting day, um, but yeah, it was a, kind of a day that I've been needing to have for a while, to be honest. I'm gonna nip into town after Barry's. I've taken my stuff to like get changed and everything there, wash my hair, just to see if I can get a little outfit for today because today is actually quite exciting. I am um, seeing my best friend that I've not seen in so long. She has been studying for what feels like 10 years um but yeah she has finally finished uni last month so she is coming down to manchester today to see me which is so nice i'm gonna take her out for lunch because it's her birthday next week when i'm in mykonos so yeah that would be so nice and um, but yeah i don't know what to wear today so I'm gonna nip to zara Shh. <laughs> and see if there's anything in there i don't know i just want like a cute new top or something just to wear with some shorts but yeah not gonna buy anything that i'm not gonna definitely wear more than once but i'm just gonna have a little look um, but yeah, so that's the plan. Nip into Zara, nip home, get ready, and then I think we're meeting about half twelve. So yeah, gonna be quite a quick turnaround. But yeah, super excited. We're actually going to a new restaurant called Marais, I think. I saw it on Instagram, and it looks like very much our vibe, very like veggie, hummus, so yeah, we're gonna go there. They look like they had tables outside, so if it is, so if it does get a bit sunnier, then hopefully we'll be able to sit outside. But yeah, I hope you're having a lovely day where you are, and I will take you along with me today where I can. Hello guys, just finished Barry's. I am not used to vlogging in public, so this is a bit awkward. I feel like there's some builders staring at me. But um, yeah, it was a really good session, actually. Uh, really, really good. I pushed myself, feeling really good. I feel like the endorphins are flowing now, definitely. Um, I took about 10 million hours to get ready. I'm literally so slow, um, but dried my hair and everything, so it's done for me and my friend for lunch. And I'm gonna go and get a shake, a protein shake now, I think, from Tesco, because, you know, gal can't afford a seven pound Barry shake every time. Um, and then I'm gonna head into town, like I said before. Um, need to pick up a couple of cards, a little bit of returns. I'm gonna go into Zara and see if they've got anything that I can wear today and yeah that's the plan. A really quick outfit of the day is just this camel blazer, my black one shoulder bodysuit and some black shorts and my Chanel trainers if you can see. Well I've got so much in my hands and um, yeah just a really quick casual outfit of the day. I hope it warms up a little bit. I didn't want to wear a blazer later but definitely feels like blazer weather just now. Um, so yeah. Hello guys I'm back from Barry's. I'm back from town and just writing out Amelia's birthday card. She's gonna get here in about an hour and I still need to do a little bit of my hair and um, decide what to wear. 
I'm so bad at multitasking trying to write this card and speak at the same time. <laughs> it's a bit of a nightmare, give me one sec. Right, just finished writing the card, I need to decide what to wear. It does feel really hot now, but this is a problem when you live in this apartment because it's always like absolutely sweltering in here. Um, and then you walk outside expecting it to be like 40 degrees and it's not even as hot outside as it is in this flat. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking maybe I will wear the like H&M white dress that I think I've shown on this channel before that's kind of like backless, it's got like a cross strap at the back just because there's so few days in the year where I can wear that dress and yeah it doesn't get worn that much but it's definitely one of my favourite dresses so potentially that or a white dress from Manga which I did wear in Ibiza but I didn't get a chance to show you guys with maybe like a blazer over the top or some white linen shorts, a black kind of bandeau top and a belt with some small heeled sandals. I feel like they're my options. I did go into Zara, I didn't have a proper look just because it was still very much sales stuff and it was really busy. Even though it was like half 10 and it only opened at 10, it was so busy. Um, so I just went straight to return to queue. Met a really nice girl actually. She was basically like, you're what I'm all, I followed you. And then like, we were chatting for ages and like the Zara returns queue, it was so long. Like if you know, you know. And we literally didn't stop chatting the whole time until we got to the tills. Um, so yeah, she was really lovely. But yeah, that was really lovely. I absolutely love meeting you girls. So if you ever do like notice me or whatever, then yeah, please say hi. I love it so much. It definitely makes my day. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try and do something a little bit different with my hair today. I was watching a video that Matilda Durf put on, if that's how you say her name. because She has the best hair ever. Um, so I'm going to try and copy what she did. But yeah, I'm not hoping out much hope. But anyway, going to take you through to the bedroom and I'll do my hair there. So we're going to give it a go. So I've basically washed and dried my hair at Barry's and I, I straightened it a tiny bit but not really. Um, so I'm going to just go over it now. Just going to put on my third heat, <laughs> heat protect of the day. I've already um, used the Kerastase cream which I always talk about um, when I was like blow drying my hair. And I used the Redkin Benefits one. I don't know, is it 100 and something Benefits? Um, I'll link it below but I've spoken about it a million times um, and this one is now the GHD bodyguard spray which I also really love it smells really nice um, so yeah just gonna put this all over and then that should help and it should be my hair should be a little bit wetter for using the air wrap just like brush through I'm just gonna straighten these bits at the top because my hair is naturally really straight apart from like right at the top where it gets like kind of frizzy bits if that makes sense um, these straighteners absolutely swear by them. They're the GHD Platinum Styler. You don't really know what like heat it is. Apparently it just works based on like the thickness of your hair and how quick you're styling or something like that. Um, so it basically adjusts the heat. Um, but yeah, it feels really good. It doesn't like pull my hair or anything. Um, and my curls seem to last quite a long time when I do them with the straighteners as well. So yeah, just go over that slightly. When I straighten my hair, do you like to do quite thick pieces just because it feels like you're not applying like too much heat onto tiny sections of hair, if that makes sense. Um, and also I don't like it to be straight like flat to my head, if that makes sense. I feel like if you go over it lightly with straightness, it's still looking like quite thick, if that makes sense. I don't know. It's just something I tell myself. Um, right, so... <laughs> This is probably going to be a tutorial of how not to do your hair like Matilda Durf. <laughs> but basically what she did, and it's probably not going to work, I don't think my hair is um, probably wet enough, but we'll give it a go. What's the worst that can happen? Um, so she basically got like a section of her hair like this. And to be fair, hers was already a little bit more curled. She wasn't doing it exactly from straight. And she just kind of... <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. It literally happened on Matilda Durf's video as well. It's so confusing which um, end of the Dyson Airwrap you're supposed to use. But I did watch a tutorial and when you are using them normally, you're supposed to use the one that goes like out, if that makes sense. So the arrows on each side, the arrows should be pointing out. So then you curl it away from your face. But to do this, you need it to curl like inside so I'll show you one first. So she basically just like grabbed it like that and just curled it under. So just leave it for a bit.
if you don't know who Matilda Durf is, definitely look her up. Her hair is honestly the best thing ever. Um, she's got like bangs and they're always like really voluminous and yeah, she just has like really cute kind of fifty curly hair. Really nice. Yeah, then I put it on the cool setting for 10 seconds, I think. I think I've spoken about the Dyson Airwrap before on my Instagram, but I am not the biggest fan. My hair is quite thin, naturally. There's a lot of it, but it's actually quite thin, um, and it just does not hold the curls at all. It actually makes my hair quite um, frizzy. So that looks quite good. But, I mean, this is what the Dyson Airwrap always does. It looks good initially, and then after literally 10 minutes, it's flat. Um, yeah, I'll keep going and I'll show you when it's done. So this is how it looks now. So basically she like kind of curls it under, like I was saying, so it like comes in like this. Um, it doesn't look too bad for five minutes of work, but we'll see what it looks like later. But I just thought I'd show you what she did with her bangs as well. And I have started doing this actually with the Dyson Air Wrap. It is pretty good for this. Um, but basically, I've just brushed these. She did it a little bit different to me. What I normally do is get it like this and then just wrap it around and kind of twist and pull it away from my head. And then just go around the ends of it so they kind of like, so it kind of curl around. And then just let it go. Gives them a little bit more volume. But what Matilda was doing, she was going like I mean, I think my bangs are getting a little bit long. That's the idea. That's what we're going with. A little bit of hairspray and yeah, I'm sure it'll drop out anyway. Hopefully it looks like it's got a little bit more volume than just wearing it straight and it literally took me about seven minutes. So yeah, not too bad. Right, now I need to decide on an outfit. So this is outfit option one. Excuse how creased the shorts are. They'd definitely be steamed if I did go for this one. Um, it's just this little knit bandeau top with my Zara linen shorts and this belt is from H&M and these sandals are under the stories. I think I shared these in my last video. Um, I really do wish that I had a little heeled sandal version of my under the story sandals in black i just feel like that would look a little bit better a little bit more dressier but yeah i only got flat so this is outfit option one i'm gonna try on the dress next i'd say let me know what you think but i realize you can't and i'm gonna have to make this decision alone so i just go for this one at gals it's the h&m one with the cut out back which i've shown you before on this channel and um, just paired with my Hermes sandals and this bag this is actually from a little instagram boutique which i can't find anymore um but they do seem to have really similar ones on public desire so i'll leave that link down below um, but yeah, this is the outfit. Gonna go and run now because Amelia's train gets in in literally two minutes. Um, so yeah, see you later. Good morning my loves and happy Sunday. Hope you've all had a lovely long lion like me. I didn't really sleep very well last night. Um, was gonna, the plan was to get up at six again and have like a really productive morning like yesterday. Um, but I ended up sleeping until like eight and then just like sitting around on my phone till like half nine. Um, but yeah, I feel better for it. I feel very well rested, which is the main thing. But I'm just about to do my makeup for today and I thought I could do it with you and talk you through what I'm using at the moment. Um, I don't think I've done one of these videos before, so yeah, you might be interested, but I'm sorry if you're not. So I basically just cleanse and moisturize my skin this morning. I'm gonna go in now with this Bondi Sands eye cream, which I'm absolutely loving lately. It says it's got vitamin C and green coffee beans in don't know what that means but it feels like it really brightens under my eyes and I'm loving it um, big fan of Bondi Sands actually I wear their um, suntan cream as well it's really really good um, Factor 50 Ollie absolutely loves it as well it smells so nice 
um, so just put that under there. And for like my foundation, I have been absolutely loving, and I think everyone has, this um, Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. I wear this in a 7 neutral, and I'm so happy to have this shade back in my life. I think I was wearing the 7 warm for a few weeks, just because it was all they had, and it was like the closest shade, and... Yeah, it was definitely too dark for me. They can be quite hard to get hold of in the popular shades because they sell out, um, but I managed to get this one on Farfetch, and you can probably use my discount code, which is what I'm more on Farfetch, so I'll leave it linked down below. Um, just using this new Charlotte Tilbury brush as well, actually, which is the complexion brush. It feels a little bit small, I'm not gonna lie, um, for doing like my full face. I was using the Bobbi Brown one before, which I think is a little bit bigger. But yeah, just kind of buff it in and onto my neck. But yeah, I really love this foundation. It feels really light, light and dewy. Um, not as kind of thick as a full foundation. This lighting probably isn't the best, but hopefully you can see it's a really nice kind of natural finish, um, which I really like. I didn't actually tell you about lunch yesterday either. It was so nice. So we went to the new Marais restaurant. I think there is... Um, they do already have restaurants in London and Liverpool. Um, but it was really good food, actually. It was really nice. It, the service was a little bit slow, but I think it was just because, obviously, it was the first day they'd opened. It was really busy. Um, but, yeah, it was really nice. They have, like, a little outdoor area that was, like, a little bit of a sun trap. And it was quite quiet and tucked away, which was really nice. Um, we went to Duke's 92 before that for just a coffee. But, yeah, we didn't stay out too late or anything. It wasn't crazy. Neither of us were really drinking. Um, but yeah, it was a really just like nice wholesome day. I'm just going in with the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Lash Mascara. Really like this. I have actually had my lashes LVL not that long ago. I'd say it's coming up to like five, six weeks. So I might try and get them redone before I go to Mykonos on Saturday. Because I'm really enjoying them actually. I feel like they made a really big difference. I got them done in Harvey Nichols in... Manchester but yeah plan today is to shoot some content I've got some coast dresses that I need to shoot I have actually shot them already on Friday but the weather wasn't that good um, and I feel like it makes a huge difference even if it's just like a grey sky versus a blue sky in the window so yeah I'm gonna re try and reshoot those today and then I'm gonna do a couple like out outfits of the week videos and potentially a workwear video as well. Oh, sorry, I'm literally just doing my makeup and chatting away. I'm not even telling you what I'm using. But I basically just use the Hourglass Arch Eyebrow Pencil. Um, this is like the shape of it. I just find it really, really easy to use. Um, this is in the colour Ash. And then I just went in with the Charlotte Tilbury Brow Fix. Um, this is just like a clear brow gel. This is quite new and... Um, I would say it is, it is leaving those little like white flaky bits at the moment, but I think I'm putting a little bit too much on. I keep forgetting that I need to kind of like wipe the brush before I use it. So I think, I think that's my fault, not the, not the gel to be fair. I am going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury pink as and blush thing. Literally love this. Um, I've not done my concealer yet. I'm doing everything in a little bit of a weird order, but as I said, not a makeup artist and going to just that in with this brush again absolutely love this blusher it just makes me happy i don't know if you can see there but it's super nice such a pretty like pink color um, and i just feel like it makes me look loads more like awake and healthy um i don't have much concealer left i've just ordered another um nars cream concealer so I'm literally just scraping the barrel with these at the moment these is, this is the Banana Low Lighter. I do really, really like this um, concealer. It's just a little bit expensive and I go through it quite quickly. So I kind of alternate between this one and the NARS um, Creamy Concealer. I love them both too far. I don't think I could actually pick a favorite. Then I'm just gonna pat that in with the um, other end of that brush. Then I'm just going to set it under my eyes and stuff with the um, Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish. This is in shade medium. This brush is Hourglass. I honestly love it. Bought it ages ago and um, yeah, it's my favourite brush ever. And I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer in shade 3 Tan as my bronzer. I do have the new one, the cream one, but... 
feel like I'm just gonna save that for holiday. Um, I do like this one. So yeah, that is the bronzer done, and then I'm just gonna put on my everyday lipstick, the Yes Honey Charlotte Tilbury one. Absolutely love this, wear it every single day. Sometimes I put lip liner on, but not feeling it today. So yeah, this is the finished look. I sometimes put eyeshadow on. I just use my bronzer as like eyeshadow, but I don't think I'm gonna put any on today. I'm not a massive eyeshadow person. Um, but yeah, this is the finished look, really quick and easy. Um, I'll leave everything linked down below in the shades and things. But yeah, I hope you guys have a lovely Sunday, whatever you're up to. And yeah, if anyone's wondering about how the hairstyle yesterday lasted, it did not last at all. It went pretty straight, but I don't mind it actually. It kind of had like, it went back straight, but it still had this kind of like flick underneath. I've not washed it this morning, so kind of similar to this. It kind of had still like a flick here. Um, so yeah, it wasn't too bad. It still felt like quite thick, but yeah, it didn't hold the like bouncy curls at the bottom. But that's just my hair. It might work for yours. But yeah, just thought I'd update you on that. Good morning guys, it's now Monday morning, the start of a new week, um, didn't get up to much yesterday to be honest, just did a full day of shooting, um, just because I think it's going to be so hot um, Monday, Tuesday this week, so I'm probably not going to get much done, so I wanted to get a bit of a head start, um, me and Ollie just had a salad for tea and then went for a quick walk afterwards, but yeah, nothing too exciting, but I'm going to close off the vlog here just because it's the start of a new week now, um, but yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed watching and I really hope to see you in my next video, bye guys!